I'm not the good guy. I'm the bad guy! It was 50 years ago. In a town, there were twin brothers. They are very tough and bulletproof. They accidentally harmed a large number of individuals. Some neighbors shut their doors one night while they were sleeping with their parents. They broke into their house and lit it on fire. The twins fled as their parents were burnt alive. The older brother Samaritan recognized their error and gave his life to defend them. In the city but his younger brother, Nemesis, was obsessed with vengeance, killing everyone who had slain his parents. He wishes to rule the entire planet. The Samaritan attempted to exert influence over his sibling, Nemesis. Nemesis fashioned a formidable hammer. It is the only item on the planet capable of killing Samaritan and Nemesis. One of these days, Nemesis sets off a bomb in a power plant, killing many innocent people. The Samaritan was duped into falling into his trap. A Samaritan arrived to help the folks. A conflict between the two brothers begins. At that moment, the power plant erupted in a massive blast, killing both of them. In the current day, Samus, a 13-year-old kid, lives in a modest apartment with his mother. Tiffany is a low-wage worker. Tiffany instructs him to take out the garbage and then goes to work. Sam is a great Samaritan fan. He paints numerous Samaritans and believes she is still alive. He goes outdoors and notices that it is pouring. He discovers a nemesis in the trash. With spray paint, Sam drew the Samaritan emblem over Nemesis's symbol. Joe Smith, an elderly guy from an adjacent flat, appears and throws his rubbish in the bin. Sam hides behind the garbage can. Joe walks to his residence after dropping the garbage and taking a mini fan from the bin. Joe, a man who lives alone in his flat he works in the rubbish collection department. He also fixes and sells outdated equipment he discovers in the rubbish at the pawn store. The next day, Sam returns home from school to find his apartment locked since Tiffany failed to pay their rent. Sam is concerned and heads to the park. Joe is returning from work with an old radio via that way. Sam approaches him and inquires about the radio's functionality. Joe claims it's no longer alive. Sam inquires as to why he has a broken radio. Before departing for home, Joe notices his wrist watch and inquires as to why he has a broken watch. Sam's friend approaches him and invites him to join him. If he wants to make money. Sam joins him at an old home to steal several copper coils and sell them for $40. A thug named Cyrus and his girlfriend, Syl, arrived at the time. Cyrus admires Nemesis and has a gang of thieves and robbers under his command. Reza, one of the criminals, begs Jace to assist. Him in robbing a store along the seaside. Jace refused to agree. Sam agrees to go along with them. Reza requests that Sam distract the business owner. Sam splashes ketchup on his brow and pretends to be hurt. Reza and his buddies steal several boxes and flee as the owner comes to meet them. They get to the scrapyard and open the boxes, only to discover that they are filled with chips. They have stolen the incorrect box. Reza blames Sam for his escape from Cyrus, claiming he stole the wrong box. Sam said he did precisely what they instructed him to do. Reza becomes enraged and throws Sam down. Cyrus approaches and inquires about Sam's age. 13, according to Sam. Cyrus likes him and offers him $200 while reprimanding Reza. Syl informs Sam that Cyrus is fond of him. Sam returns to his flat. Tiffany has asked the owner to unlock her residence and has stated that she would pay the rent in five days. Sam provides the money to his mother and requests that she pay it to the owner the door is opened by the owner. Tiffany inquires as to how Sam obtained the funds. Sam had the ability to deceive, Reza and his buddies noticed Sam on his way to school the next day and chased him. Sam flees as quickly as he can, but Reza eventually catches up with him. Reza starts beating Sam. When Joe arrives and does the same, Reza's buddies are tossed away. Reza hits Joe in the stomach, but he is injured. Joe didn't care about him and expelled all of his buddies. Reza stabs him, but Joe crushes it with his own hands. Reza flees the scene. Joe exits the building without saying anything. Seeing Sam, she realizes she is a Samaritan because of his strength and endurance. He returned home and used his binoculars to inspect Joe's residence. He realizes he is a Samaritan after noticing the burn mark on his back. In police uniform, Cyrus, Syl, and their gang proceed to the evidence locker. The guard requests that they present their identification. Cyrus assassinates him with a grenade, and his gang unlocks the safe locker. Cyrus discovers the helmets of Nemesis and Samaritan, as well as Nemesis' hammer. 
He grabs the hammer and smashes the door. He could feel the hammer's might. Sam follows Joe and watches everything he does. Joe requests that he stop following him. Sam enters Joe's residence through a window and discovers a scrapbook filled with newspaper clippings from Samaritan. Sam brings the book to his home. Joe discovers that the book is missing and rushes to Sam's residence to inform Tiffany of the situation. Tiffany requests that Sam return his book. Sam returns it and expresses his admiration. The next day, Sam approaches Joe and inquires whether he is a Samaritan. Joe goes into the street, saying he is. Simply a fan like him. Reza and his pals appeared out of nowhere and struck Joe with their automobile. Joe's bones fractured, and he fell. On the highway he appears to be dead. Sam approaches him, crying. Joe suddenly opens his eyes, his body heals itself, and he awakens. Sam exclaims, I already know I'm a Samaritan. Joe is extremely dehydrated and requests water. Joe returned home, had a cold shower, and ate some ice cream. Sam wonders why he's eating ice cream right now. Joe claims that when he is injured, his body overheats and that if he does not cool it down, his heart would burst. Sam wonders if this is the cause of Nemesis' death. Joe requests that he refrain from discussing Nemesis. Cyrus dons Nemesis' mask and snatches his hammer in the midst of the city. He pulls all gangsters and thieves to instigate a revolution in order to take from the affluent everyone believes that Nemesis has returned, and crime is on the rise. Sam runs into Joe the next day and inquires about his daily routine. Joe claims that he used to be stronger but that age has made him weaker. He asks for Joe's damaged watch and promises to attempt to repair it. Sam thanked him and left. Cyrus and his crew, on the other hand, are committing several crimes around the city. He goes by the name Nemesis and is involved in a variety of crimes. This is being covered extensively in the media. Joe becomes enraged after hearing the term Nemesis repeated several times. Sam requests that Joe teach him how to fight. Joe concurs. Sam tries it on him and is injured. Joe puts some ice on him. Sam inquires about Nemesis once more. Joe becomes enraged and orders him to leave his home. Cyrus picks up Sam on the way. Sam follows him and witnesses him murdering an officer. Sam becomes terrified and flees. He notices Reza beating Jace while sprinting. Sam beats Reza and allows him to flee. Reza shatters Sam's wrist and abandons him near his residence. Joe and Reza both noticed each other. Joe took Sam to the hospital. Reza informs his companion that the elderly man injured by their automobile is still alive. Cyrus notices the wrecked automobile and requests that his crew send him there. They pursue Joe into a lane and start fighting with him. Joe beats them all up and throws them in the air. They fired at him, but he was unharmed. Joe defeats them all. When a small girl notices all of this, she asks Joe how he accomplished it. Everyone crowded around him and began filming Joe. They suddenly hurl a grenade towards Joe. Joe snatches the girl, jumps from there, and flips the automobile, using it as a springboard. It served as a barrier against the grenade. Although the explosive explodes, Joe saves the girl. This video was widely distributed by the media, claiming that Samaritan had returned. Joe makes the decision to leave town. When Cyrus watches the video, he travels to Joe's residence with his group to apprehend him. Joe had already departed the location. Cyrus demolishes the room and spots Sam through Joe's window. Reza claims that Joe and Sam are pals. Cyrus requests that they apprehend Sam. Sam tries to flee with his mother, but Cyrus apprehends them. Sam claims that a Samaritan will come to his aid. Syl assaults Tiffany, and Cyrus kidnaps Sam. Joe, on the other hand, is awaiting the train. Suddenly, he notices Sam's watch in his backpack and returns it to Sam's residence. Tiffany is in the kitchen sobbing. Cyrus, she claims, kidnapped Sam. Joe becomes enraged, packs a large number of oil barrels into a truck, and drives to Cyrus' house. Cyrus intends to destroy the power plants, causing the entire city to go dark. His gang members will steal concurrently. Joe has arrived. The guards attempted to halt the vehicle. Joe runs over them all and slams the truck into the building. Sam notices this and informs Cyrus that he will fail like Nemesis. People start shooting at Joe from all sides. Joe easily defeats most of them. Cyrus appears and declares, he is going to complete what Nemesis started. Joe requests that Cyrus release Sam. Cyrus refuses and hits Joe with the hammer. Joe trips and falls. 
Cyrus continues to pummel him. Joe makes an attempt to awaken. Good folks will always fall, Cyrus muttered as he attempted to hit Joe again with the hammer. He's not the nice guy, he's the fucking terrible person here, Joe shouted as he deflected the hammer. Cyrus and Sam are taken aback. The Samaritan was killed in the collision. Nemesis had survived the blast and was now known as Joe. I'm the evil guy, Joe says as he takes the hammer. His demeanor reveals how nasty he is. The oil drums in the vehicle detonated, killing several of the gangsters, including Sil. Joe slaughters them one by one, without compassion. At one point, a swarm of them surrounded him. Joe causes the ceiling to collapse by breaking the pillars near him. They are all crushed, but Joe lives and dashes toward Cyrus. Cyrus chains Sam to a broken pipe and sends his goons to clean up the city. The entire city becomes black, and the gangsters begin to murder people, burn down buildings, and plunder banks. The entire structure is on fire. Sam is yelling for assistance. Joe is exhausted. He notices Sam and goes to free him. Cyrus reappears and snatches the hammer. He starts fighting him. Because of the high temperature, Joe's heart begins to race. Cyrus beats him and attempts to force him to jump from the burning building. Sam tries hard, breaking the pipe and hitting Cyrus from behind. Joe scales the ladder and grabs the hammer, wrapping it around Cyrus. Cyrus is immobile. Joe raises Cyrus above his head and throws him out of the building, recalling how he let a Samaritan die in the same manner 50 years ago. Joe's heart suddenly began to race, and he collapsed. Sam turned off a nearby faucet and waited for the water to cool. The structure begins to crumble. Joe grabs Sam's hand and begins to run. He crashes through a wall and jumps from one building to another to save Sam. Sam wonders if he is actually Nemesis. Joe agrees. Sam claims he can fix things and still be a nice man. Sam headed outside. Many reporters arrived and asked Sam what had occurred. Sam claims that the Good Samaritan saved him and that he is still alive. Joe then grins at Sam and starts walking under the bridge, and the film finishes here. Like, share, and subscribe if you want more content. Also, hit the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon.